Hello, Hogzilla here again. Today we will be playing School Tycoon. This was a game that was developed by Cat Daddy Games and published by Global Star Software and was released on January 15th, 2004. The primary objective of the game is to build up your school, which will in turn bring in students, which will in turn bring in money to your school. So a couple things to note before we get started here is Global Star is the pub same publisher as my airline I'm sorry the um, yeah the airport tycoon games that we just got done playing a while back um, and then cat daddy games they actually uh, they developed games like golf tycoon and ski resort tycoon so hopefully we should have some Golf Resort Tycoon videos coming out in the following months, or at least within the year. Um, but today we will start with School Tycoon. So as you can see, it's actually a very simple menu. I like the uh, nice little uh, school pencil uh, cursor. Pretty nice deal. You can do, um, as you're going to see in my uh, Golf Tycoon videos, which will be coming out later, as I mentioned. There's a challenge mode, instant action, load game, and tutorial. This tutorial is a little different. It's just, uh, uh, it looks like you're going to play the game as they guide you along. But, um, they just, it, it's just images of the game. So... I did actually pop this game in just before starting this video just to make sure it would work and I placed a few um, buildings down and hired a few staff just to make sure it would work. Uh, I did not play anything close to a complete run through of the game. Uh, just a couple buildings, a couple staff. So hopefully this game does not encounter any issues I didn't come across in my five minute make sure it works run through. So, you got three different types, it looks like. Farmland, beach, and city. We'll start with farmland. Give it a chance here to load. Um, I know this uh, took a little bit to load uh, first time around. Okay, so it's uh, done loading here. Looks like we just have our standard uh, school building and a principal to start. So we got to start building some classrooms. So let's go ahead and we'll just go right down the row here. Uh, let's go ahead and start with portable English. Math. Social Studies, Portable Library, and the last one we're going to be able to do is Biology. Now we got to hire five teachers. Uh, that might be a little expensive here. I'm not... I think hiring the staff is a little uh, tedious, but it's all right. Okay, let's hire our fourth staff member. I'm trying to get around 500 to $700 on the staff member. Maybe a little higher than 700 as you can see there. Um... So I have my first set of buildings in here. Um, everything that you need to build will be in this first uh, options. Uh, next thing we're probably going to want to get is get a porta potty in there. So 
So, I never played the challenge mode. I've actually only placed, uh... Hmm. Bankruptcy. I didn't get this in my playthrough, but we're going to continue on. and Hopefully, I do not for follow f fall further in arrears. Not too bad, 149. I should have probably just stuck with a couple buildings at first, maybe two. Because you can see these buildings can hold, I think, 10 each. And I'm already up to a 50 capacity, so I'm only about 40%, 20 divided by 50. <clears throat> so I should have probably have stuck to... Not, um, maybe just buying three buildings or something and then the staff. Um, then I'm going to add grass later, but let me see here. We want to get porta -pa, port potty in here. Um, we're going to want to get the um, food and then maintenance stuff. Then we'll expand from there. But let's see what happens here with the next day. Uh, a couple things is you can rotate the map. As you can see, it's actually a nice smooth transition. I mean, you got the animated American flag here. The principal walking around. You can click on the classroom and see who's learning what. You could see now 23 students. Hey, we got out of the hole there. Let's get our uh, porta potty in here. Oops, I did not. The only kind of weird thing you can't just click on it and go. You guys, yeah, like click on the object. Uh, kind of tedious. Porta potty needs no staff. Capacity one. It's condition you can see here. I don't remember what happens if you don't keep the stuff maintained, uh, but what I'll do in this back corner here is I will add my janitor and maintenance buildings. How much do I need for 800 and 800? So I need 1600 just to put in the convenience machines. As you can see, you're tracked here um, by grade. Uh, I'm sure this has some meaning in the challenges. I'm not sure personally. Let's go through some of the other stuff. You can zoom in and zoom out. I mean, honestly, I personally like the graphics of this game, especially for a 2004 game. It, it's fairly well done. Um... We can speed up the game, pause. Newspaper supposedly has coupons down here. Um, I think I've only seen one once in my just quick playthrough. This is instant action, have fun. Okay, it looks like we have 34 students. Um, let's go ahead and get some janitorial stuff in as we can. I'm just gonna actually do this first. First, and then get in a soda machine. I don't know if there's any other. There's other little fences and fountains. And we'll buy a fountain. Just because I, I know that costed me the chance to... Uh, You have boring teachers, it says at the bottom. I don't know if this actually does anything, but we'll find out if students congregate around it or sit down. Of course, I know a detention center needs to be built. Okay, so now the next thing we'll buy is maintenance and janitorial and I don't know about landscaping I mean it's all dirt right now 
Uh, you can put in grass for like five dollars a square. Um, I find that kind of expensive. Let's see here, we have uh, message history. What do we got here? Not sure what this is for, but I know the detention center needs to be built. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Yeah, gray doesn't do anything. That button doesn't do anything for the moment. That was the way we got out of a classroom. Okay, so we got some more money in here. We're almost at 4000 So let's go ahead and buy some a small janitorial closet. So... What I liked about, like, Golf Tycoon is you could buy, like, the maintenance and then just add the staff right from there. And this game, School Tycoon, came out, like, four years after. I can't believe they would have gotten rid of something like that. Um, let's get a janitor in here. You can hire up to two, it looks like, but I'm just going to do one for now. What was the other building I wanted to get? Yeah, small maintenance. So let's go ahead and get that. Buy a maintenance person. How are the buildings doing here? They're okay in condition. I wonder what would happen if I didn't buy that. Oh, it looks like they're kind of congregating around. Oh, and they are sitting on the... fountain and the picnic tables um that's nice we're up to 34 students still yeah i know we'll get to the computer classes Got a problem? i'm leaving i can't get exercise if there's a big farm field how can you not get exercise here um Can we put in some more picnic tables, maybe? Put in this map, maybe? And I know that that's an aspect of this game, is the ability to uh, have stuff for the students to do. We got trash can A and trash can B right next to each other. Good job. Auxiliar. Okay. So I think that's good enough there. Um, 32 students. 28. Um, we don't need any more classrooms at the moment. Portable biology, though, was the last one. So chemistry will be next. We don't need landscaping. We do need portable detention. We need a staff member for that. A newspaper came out. I see it was flashing at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get a staff member into detention. See, I, this isn't my vision of how a school would be laid out. I would, um, I obviously am in the north. I'm in Wisconsin, so all our schools are enclosed. But I know, like you see in the movies, maybe this is just the movies, but there are schools where it's kind of open air. Um, but I just know when I went to school, it was always enclosed. But let's go ahead and take a look at that paper. Yep. Okay, they're saying the athletics are bad. Well... Let's work on that. Let's build our gym. Get that. Now we gotta get a coach. The coach will, should hop into this. Uh, gym. And at some point we'll wanna get generic 
soccer looking like field um got the portable toilet this is um so school tycoon is just another um what i call build them up games you add stuff you get more stuff you get more money you build more stuff you get more money um just so on and so forth okay so we have the detention center uh nurse's office will add right now right click to rotate we're gonna fit it in here i wish they would say here how many students are in here I mean, they did that like on uh, Ski Resort and Golf Tycoon. They say if it's at full capacity or not. But I guess not on this game. So we're down to a thousand. What I think we're going to do is let's see if that gets us more students in. If we add portable chemistry. I just don't know if it caps out and then we just get no more students or do I need to build more stuff and it gets us some more students. I see our athletics and facilities rating is going up. You can see our athletics is just horrible. Uh, looks like they want some athletics. Those people by the fountain? Is that what they want? Let's see here. Oh, we're up to 40 students. What are they? Uh -huh. What happened to Fizz? Well, you got a gym. I gave you a gym. Ah, oh, these students, all they want is the world. Okay. Got the chemistry in there. Uh, that's an expensive teacher. Not to say maybe later in the game I wouldn't do that. Okay, we're down to 14. What else do we need to buy right now? Landscaping. We got the nurse's office. We got the discipline. I'm not going to worry about that until later, I think. I can build the classic cafe right now. So our capacity right now is 60. <clears throat> I think we're going to shoot for this. Uh, I think we're going to go for the uh, generic field here. Got a new paper released. Get another coach in here. We're up to 45 on a 60. Sixty-one dollars. This person wants the music, but of course I can't afford it. Who's this wandering all the way out here? They don't say like what 
this person does, do they? You just know that. Is there some way I can maybe move this a little bit closer to? Maybe that'll help. Not sure. Why? Not enough restrooms. Maybe we should buy another restroom here. We're up to 50. Like, they don't say, like, what this person does. Like, okay, Mr. Brothers, I could, well, I could rename him to, like, Janitor if that's what the title is. So now, let's go ahead and get a computer classroom in. And hire a teacher. Uh, they have no fun. Now we got thirteen dollars. Okay, so we're back in business here. Now we got 70 capacity, I believe. Was this another 10? Yep. Uh, what do I want to buy here, if anything? I was thinking that cafe. Else, uh, landscaping. Um, or it can be another classroom. Let's go ahead and do nothing. We're going to buy the classic cafe, so then we'll hire a cook. So, just waiting here. Oh, we can look at the school newspaper. Students leave schools for various reasons. I don't know what this teacher conference does, but hopefully we can figure out here at some point. Okay, so we have enough for the, the cafe, so let's get that built. Okay, so now I have the cafe in there. We're at 56 and 70 is the capacity. I think we'll fill out the, like, the remaining classrooms in this area here. So the last one was a portable computer classroom. Workshop is 2000 though. But you can build another bathroom, which I think we're going to do here. I 
And then what we can do is, how much were those picnic tables? Twenty dollars. So now, let's see here. We're up to 56 students. We did portable computers. So let's now do portable workshop. Now we're up to uh, quickly two and a half stars, I see. Oh, something happened there. I don't know, is there a way I can... Here we go. Oh, this is out of order of what is on the other list. Let's see what this person says. He needs more help, it looks like. So let's go ahead and just get another... and hire another maintenance person. Not sure if that's needed or not, but we'll find out. Okay, so we did portable workshop in this very stereotypical rule looking uh, school here. Okay, portable art. And we might as well do the music one while we're at it here. So now we need two teachers. There, we got two teachers to cover that. So we need some of these items. So we got all the classrooms. So by having all the, well, what do you mean? I got at least four. I guess we'll buy another one here. we can fit it in here. Um, I think we are going to want to buy, I don't know, a half pipe? I don't know, is this getting used heavily? It's not being used heavily. So, I don't know, maybe we will go with the arcade. I need 
large maintenance. Well, what is this? I just think there was a better way to do some of this stuff, like say if, if uh, something needs cleaning and that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we, got, we can go up to a hundred students. Can't buy that anyway. How much is a teacher's lounge? Uh, let's see here. I think we will go with the arcade. Just need to wait here. I think this next go around should get me. There we go. Enough money for. An arcade. I don't know where we want to put this. Maybe over here. never seen a school with an arcade in it but if you have then go ahead and uh, drop me a comment and let me know where you've seen arcades in schools so we got 2,000 left I just don't want to like out build my capacity Need ten thousand for the baseball field. But I think we'll do this teacher's lounge next. Okay. Let's Come on, I could, I guess, speed it up if I really wanted to. Let's do the teacher's lounge. I see why we need the janitors now. Because I can see the sidewalks are getting dirty. Uh, let's go ahead. Is there another level of janitor? Small janitor, medium janitor. So let's go ahead and we'll buy this medium one next so that we can get this cleaned up seems like this is another one of those where you gotta sit around and wait kinda games There's no, no like interactive mission. Kind of like 
on the Sims, you know, where you can get phone calls throughout the day if you have a phone and have various stuff happen. Let's go ahead and buy that. We're at a, we need it. Uh, where should we put this? I'm not sure. I think right here will be fine. So we can add four janitors. So let's go ahead. And add two for right now. I see one thing that he, I don't think is in the game here. Was um, like previous games that were developed by this same company. Was the ability to like fly through your school. Or I guess fly fly through wherever. You, I know it was your ski resort or your golf. I think that would have been nice for this game personally. But I do not see that option here. For this game. Okay, so it looks like we're finally getting somewhere on the cleaning up. I just don't know why they keep saying no bathrooms. I mean, how many bathrooms do they need? I don't know if this person's stuck. Because they keep checking the bathrooms here. I just don't know why they keep saying about the bathrooms. I mean, I need the pizzeria. I need 8,000. I need the half pipe. So I can buy the half pipe right now. Do I need staff for it? No staff required. Are they even using like the arcade? Well, one student is. Oh, there's the student. Mrs. Square, Cat Daddy Games. Way to throw your own uh, game in there. Oh, croak instead of Frogger, we got Kroger or some Croker. So, uh, let's see here. What that half pipe did was open up this pizzeria, I believe. Well, we only have two thousand. We're up to sixty-eight students or down. Why is this student leave? I have, there's nowhere to work out here. I don't know what they mean when, unless this is like filled up. I don't know how much. Maybe we gotta go for that baseball field. I think that was the cheapest of the open options right now. Oh, what do we got here? A tornado. Which is like the last thing we need in this game is... I'm not exactly sure how you put out the fire. Well, I'm 
I'm sure the maintenance guys will at least so the detention center is no more I don't know how do you get rid of it I thought there was like a bulldozer here That's very unfortunate. I wish you could turn that off. Oh man, what is this? The Wizard of Oz? I mean, tornadoes all over the place. Luckily, I don't think it's going to do anything out there. Okay. Did we lose a teacher because of that? Or... I'm not sure. Looks like teacher's coming back. I was going to build that teacher's lounge. Or did I do that already? I did that already. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're going to save up for say, either another athletic field here. Or... Low academics. What more do they want? I mean, I guess we could take and, like, find a teacher that... Let's see here. But I just need the money here to come in. So let's see if we can go a little faster here. So we can get this money in. Tornado. I'm working on it. I'm working on the athletics. I don't know what they they really want here. Um, it seems like the game is kind of stalled out. I mean, I thought I was actually enjoying myself uh, early on in the game. But now, I really haven't been able to do much here. Um... And then, might be one of the negative aspects I say about this game is if there was something a little more to do with this while you wait and build up money for stuff or if you could take out a loan or something Oh, that's the last thing we need. That is the last thing we need. And it goes right through the center of everything. I wish there was some way to turn off disasters. I think I'm going to still go. Okay, that looks like the teacher's lounge. That was the lab. That was a biology lab, I believe. I 
Did I ever put in a nurse's station? Cause it's just too sick. I think I never put in the nurse's station. I should have done that. Um, so let's go ahead and put in a nurse's station. And then we got to put in our discipline deal. I don't know why, why they got skull and crossbones for discipline. Uh, biology. Should be able to just kind of go across here and see which ones. Portable computer. So, what are we missing here? Uh, we're not missing anything actually. Except all my money for the athletic field I was saving up for. I know I need more athletics if I could just save up for it. I'm just wondering if I should just buy a generic field. Do I go for like a generic gym? I don't know what they see. I mean, uh, there's plenty of. I almost feel like this game is kind of in a, a, a stuck point here because I ain't getting any money in. I'm getting a little bit in. I think maybe we'll build another field here. Then get another coach. See if that helps. Really, I wanted to use that money for baseball. Let's see here. What do I want to do? Not sure here. I just need the money here. No food! There is a 33 person cafe. That is nowhere near capacity. Do 
Though I could use those two new janitors, I think. Yeah, they're stuck. They're stuck in this porta potty. So we're going to get rid of this. Will that help? Well, for some reason, they love congregating right around these trash cans. So... We're going to get rid of the trash can here, if I can... Oh, man. Now we're starting to get a little bit of money in here, but... I'm sure something will come along here and knock out my money, like a tornado. I guess I'm not sure how they get to the number in question. Is there some kind of... We're spending a lot on... teachers, but it's almost like we're kind of like a stuck point. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Once we get this baseball field in, then we'll get her down to a slow speed. And hopefully, athletics goes up then. Okay, let's get the baseball athletic field in so they stop complaining. Okay. Hopefully this helps after we buy a, bring in a coach. Oh wow. Okay. One thing we never bought was landscaping. I'm thinking we can put in landscaping here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, does that mean I need to get better teachers or better facilities when it says low academic? Oh, yeah, here's our good old friend, the tornado. Uh, don't you dare take out my brand new baseball stadium. It's going to be close, but I think it's going to cut right through. Yep. So now let's get a landscaper. I don't know what the purpose of this lawn is in the game but we're going to try and put it in and see what happens here I don't 
think I'm going to be able to put much in. Doesn't look like much of a, a lawn. does okay so the lawn appears to do absolutely nothing I put in that nice baseball stadium, and yet the athletics are still way down. Maybe I gotta get a better athletic person, maybe? I, I This person's already, uh... Well, where is... Oh, uh, why well, he's trying to sweep up what... It doesn't need to be swept up right now, but... I honestly think at this point this is a good place to to leave off. Um, I'm not sure if I will continue this game or not. It seems like you kind of get stuck at points here. Uh, overall, it has an interesting premise, uh, but it feel, I feel like it's missing a bunch of stuff, like turning off disasters and and interactive elements while you're trying to build up money for additional uh, items. The game has potential, and either I'm not playing it right, or it's just just not there. Um, not sure what it is, uh, but we'll see if I do do a part two on this. Um, I'll see if I can expand this school a little further. But if you do like what you saw in this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you have played this game and have some thoughts, tips, or tricks, then go ahead and drop a comment or please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.